Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great News School to talk me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf. That'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ayabad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. As commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, The Whole Earth is Moving to the Tune of Prophecy. Okay? The whole earth is moving to the tune of prophecy. All right? And um, we know that the Lord said, okay, so shall his word be that go forth out of his mouth, it shall not return unto him void. Okay? And you read Isaiah the 55 chapter and 11, 11 verse. All right? The Most High, uh, the scriptures tell you, in the book of Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19, okay? Most High is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Okay? Or flip out phrasing. Okay? He's going to make good on his word because the word of the Lord is faithful and true. You see? So at the end of the day, all we see in the world that is happening and what's going on, okay? Everything is being moved and directed to the tone of prophecy, man. These things are coming to pass, okay? Because the Most High spake of these things from the days that was before us, okay? From as you read, when you read in the book of Second Ages, the ninth chapter, all right? The Most High been declaring these things before us. You have prophecies that were spoken of in ancient times that came to pass already. And you also have prophecies that are still in the scriptures, the Holy Scriptures, that are still to come to pass, man. Showing you that the Holy Bible, okay, the scriptures is the living waters, man. It's the, it's the, it's the book, okay, the scriptures is alive and well. All right, now I have a few scriptures. This lesson ain't meant to be too long, but the Spirit's telling me to get um, two more scriptures that come to mind. Right away, I'm going to grab them in the book of Isaiah. Okay. So the Spirit telling me to get these lessons, these uh, precepts real quick. This is the book of uh, Isaiah, the 42nd chapter. And the 8th verse, it says, I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Verse 9, behold, the former things are come to pass. Right, those prophecies, man, things that were prophesied of the prophets of old, the men of old, okay? And new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them, right? And how does the Lord do that? Through his men, okay? All right? When you go to um, the book of uh, another scripture that comes to mind to the spirit part of the Abashim of Shai, Luke, the first chapter, and about to get straight to the point, uh, I think it's the 70th verse. To back up that, it says, as he spake by the mouth of all his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right, so the Lord, this is how he tell you of them, man. He tell you of what he's going to do by the mouth of his prophets. All right, another one that comes to mind real quick. I have some scriptures jotted down. This lesson is not to me meant to be a long lesson, but okay, the Spirit is sending me to these scriptures. All right, another one that comes to mind, uh, the book of uh, uh, Salakia, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 all right it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence we've, we, we've seen it in the ancient times through the scriptures because the scriptures tell you Romans 15 and 4 things written the four times written for our learning okay roughly paraphrasing and we've seen it now in these times because why <laughs> When the Most High spoke, speak something, man, it comes to existence. Cause why? He's the Most High power, man, the highest. 
All right? He's the true power. And if he says something, it's going to come to pass. Uh, verse 9, it says, The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Right? Okay? When these things come to pass, Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33, where it says, uh, let's go to it. Then they shall know that a prophet had been among them. Because why? We're not speaking our own words. We're speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Ezekiel, uh, chapter 33 and verse 33. It says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very... So like here. I'm going to get straight to the verse 33. It says, And when this coming to pass, so when the signs come to pass, when the thing happened that uh, the Lord spoke and the prophets prophesied that it would come to pass because the Lord put it in their spirit, put it on them to speak of it, okay? And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. That's how you're going to know, man, when these things come to pass. You see? And we've seen it right now. But the Lord spake in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, when the disciples asked him, okay, what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world, man? Okay, beginning at Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3, when the disciples were speaking to the Lord, and the Lord told them, man, you know, be not deceived, but many shall come in, in, in his name. You know? trying to deceive the Lord the Lord want you know he say you know uh, uh, look out for for wars and rumors of wars and pestilence and you know earthquakes in diverse places and all these things we've been seeing all these things so the the whole earth is moving to the tone of prophecy man okay but when you go into the eighth verse of that same chapter Matthew chapter 24 okay verse 8 it says these are just the beginning of sorrows so right now Things are going to get even more tighter, man. But it was prophesied. The Lord spoke of these things. And this is the reason why you got to get into the scriptures. You got to get into prophecy, man. Okay? The scriptures speak about how we have a sure, more word of prophecy. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's go to the book of, um, let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. All right? And we're going to start at verse 1. You see? Because the whole earth is moving to the tone of prophecy prophecy right now. We're seeing it, man. Everywhere you look, we're seeing prophecy coming to pass, jumping off the pages. Okay? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 1. It says, follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. Okay? But rather that ye may prophesy. This is the Apostle Paul. Okay? All right? Telling you to prophesy, man. All right, this is what is commanded of us to go out and speak the word of the Lord, making your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay, we're gonna jump down in the same chapter. And we're gonna go to verse um, verse thirty-two because the prophets. Okay, just like uh, I quoted in Jeremiah twenty-eight and verse eight, the prophets of old prophesy against many great kingdoms of war. Okay, pestilence, roughly paraphrasing. Those prophets from in those times, those prophets are back here today, man. Okay, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 32. It says that the, spirit, the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So, okay, when the prophets uh, go to sleep uh, 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 or rest with their fathers, they come back in their stead as a, as a prophet, man. All right? Uh, John the Revelator in, in uh, Revelation the 10th chapter Beginning at the 10th verse, going down, he, he was told that he will, he must prophesy again, man. Okay, uh, Daniel, okay, Daniel in the book of uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter, around about the 13th verse. Daniel was told, the prophet Daniel was told that he must prophesy again, man. All right, so we, 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 reincarnation is it's real, man. It's biblical and it's in the scriptures. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 32, and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the prophets come back and they're locked. All right, to preach the word. Because why? The word of the Lord continues, which is faithful and true. All right? We go and come, but at the end of the day, the word of the Lord abided forever. The scriptures say the, 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 the fashion of this world passes away, but the, uh, but the word of the Lord abided forever, man. You see? First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, it says, For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints, man. Mosiah is not the author of confusion, man. You see? 
Let's jump down to verse uh, 39. It says, Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy. All right? Apostle Paul telling you to covet. Take it on to you. Covet to prophesy, man. As the scripture tell you that, uh, uh, you know, knowing the earth will melt with, uh, 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 knowing that the elements shall melt with fer uh, fervent heat, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy composition and godliness, meaning being into the prophecies, man. Okay, the, the scriptures tell you Revelation. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go get that real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as a matter of fact, I'm going to read this and I'm going to get that. Because the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. So we're supposed to, the scriptures say we have the mind of a Hamashiach, man, our Lord. So we're supposed to be in the same state as our Lord, man. His the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. That's, a, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Old prophesying, man. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 39. It says, Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy. So you're supposed to want to do this. You're supposed to draw this nigh unto you, man, to do, to want to do the will of the Lord, the work of the Lord, keeping your hand to the plow. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and, fit, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Okay? Let all things, verse 40, let all things be done decently and in order. Right. Let all things be done decently in order, man. Let me get the scripture real quick. Um, it's that revelation. Because the, the testimony of our Lord, man. Okay, it's the spirit of prophecy. Revelation chapter uh, 19 and verse 10 it is. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. Okay, this is our apostle. Uh, this is John the Revelator. Okay, on the island of Patmos, when he was given those revelations, man. Okay, the angel appeared unto him, right? It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahawashai. Worship God, for the testimony of Yahawashai is the spirit of prophecy. So we're supposed to be in the spirit of prophesying, man. Okay? Because that, that's what's making the whole earth okay move to the tune of prophecy man the fact that we wake up to who we are which is a which is a prophecy uh uh ezekiel the 37 chapter goes into that also isaiah the 44 chapter which speaks about you know lord say he will pour uh, uh, he will pour water upon us okay upon his people and water and, and, and water upon the dry ground you know we begin to know ourselves again man which is prophecy man okay and we start to surname ourselves man Okay, going back into our heritage, man. That's prophecy, man. And this is the reason why we stand boldly in the word of the Lord. Okay, prophesying, uplifting the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so yeah, man, the, the testimony of, of, of our Lord Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see? So now going back, all right, let's go back to, uh, I quoted it, the book of, uh, uh, what's that? Second Peter's. Second Peter chapter three, uh, and verse eleven, where it speaks of um, what manner of person ought you to be. I'm gonna start at verse ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat." Okay, and 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 and, and the whole earth. It's moving to the tune of prophecy because we see in these nations preparing for World War Three. That's what's gonna bring about that man. Okay, the, uh, the, 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 the war of World War Three, and also the chariot, the lasers from the chariots, man. Okay, it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also with the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Okay, you see, the speakers, uh, the scripture speaks about, what's that? Uh, uh, I think it's, Micah 4, Micah 4, or Malachi 4. Let me check it real quick. Malachi 4. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all they that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So, <laughs> Hey, the lake of fire, man, that's spoken of in the book of Revelation, man. That's real. That's going to be created through those ICBM missiles, man. Okay, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth. As it tells you in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter and the 13th verse, man. For strong is his right arm that bended the bow. Okay? All right? 
the strong is his right hand that bended the bow. His arrows that he shoot are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth, man. You see, that's that's the time we're coming into World War Three. See, and that these nations are new, uh, are moving to the tune of prophecy, man. He's no going around it. So going back to um, what's that? Second Peter, Second Peter, chapter three. Okay, begin at verse ten again, and it says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the, the heavens shall pass away." With a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay? This is the point. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? When you go into that holy conversation, holy means to be set apart, man. Okay? The conversation, okay, is meaning speaking these prophecies, man. Going into the word of the Lord, which is this prophecies, man. The word of the Lord, man. All right? Going out and, 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 and speaking his words, man. Okay? Verse 12, it says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse uh, 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. Right? Because it's prophesied in the scriptures. Right? I, uh, um, what's that? Uh, Isaiah, the 65th chapter, and the 17th verse. Okay? All right? It says, Nevertheless, we are called to his promise. Right? Look for new heavens and a new earth where we dwell righteousness. Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, meaning the kingdom, the return of our Lord, okay, being in rulership, being joint heirs with our Lord Yahushai, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot. And blameless man so we have to be diligent man okay all right because we have a more sure word of prophecy man you see we have a we have a more sure word of prophecy i don't know if um okay let me go to that matter of fact let's go to that all right this is the book of um Book is uh, um, Second Peter's, <clears throat> Second Peter's chapter one. All right, the scriptures tell you how we have a, a more sure word of prophecy, showing that the word of the Lord is faithful and true, and it's gonna come to pass, man. Because we're speaking to the Most High, okay? Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, who created the heavens and the earth. All right, okay. This is uh Second Peter's chapter one. Again, that verse 19 it says we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto ye do well that ye take heed take heed man because the whole earth is moving to the tune of prophecy as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts yeah how shy arise in your mind man okay the, the hebrew word for heart is lab which means your mind okay Lord said, Behold, I stand at the door knocking. If any man answer, I will come in and sup with him, man. The Lord sups with you through the Spirit, man. All right? Verse 20, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation. No, so you can't add nor take away from the word of uh, the Scripture, man. The Scriptures tell you how Psalms chapter 12 and verse 6, how this word is tried, okay, seven times, man. Purified seven times. All right? As, as silver is tried in a furnace, this word is purified seven times. So there's no need to add to this word, nor take away. This is the word of the Lord, man. Okay, the Lord don't make mistakes. Okay, verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men, <coughs> holy men, meaning set apart men of God, spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, you see? So at the end of the day, man, the Lord put his spirit upon whom he may to do his will. The scriptures tell you that who can who can uh, resist his will? Okay? You can't resist the will of the Lord, man. You remember Jonah? Okay? Read the book of Jonah, man. All right? Um, from there, we're getting ready to close out. We're going to the book of Isaiah. Okay? Isaiah, the uh, 34th chapter, and verse 16. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read, okay? All right, Revelation 1 and 3 tell you that blessed is the man that readeth and keep this, uh, the things that are written, okay? The prophecies that are written in the book, man, roughly paraphrasing. 
Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. The no one of these shall fail is speaking of prophecies, man. The prophecies that are written in the book, the Holy Scriptures. None of them are going to fail. All of them are going to come to pass. Right? It says, none shall want her mate, meaning no other book could be compared to the Holy Scriptures, man. All right? Your Talmud, your Quran, none of them. This is the only book that's alive and well. Because why? It have the prophecies. It tell you of, it tell you uh, that we were to go into slavery and it happened. It told you of World War One. it happened. It told you of World War Two. it happened. It told you of World War Three. it must happen. Because the Lord has spoken it, man. Okay? None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded, all right? And his spirit it had gathered them, man. You see? So, hey, as the scriptures say, we have a more sure word of prophecy, man. All right? So I'm going to get a passage in the book of Revelation. All right? The very last book, the very last chapter. All right? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna end it right here. This is the book of Revelation chapter 22. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Behold, I come quickly. It's red letter, our Lord, Yahushai. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Right? It says that I, John, saw the things, Slaki, and I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship the Most High, whose name is Yahweh. All right? And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. So we got to bring it out. All right? Verse 11, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him remain filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Verse 12, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work shall be. So the Lord is coming with a reward. All right? To give every man according to his work shall be. All right? Red letter again, it says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Man, speaking of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So we're going to jump down to verse 16. All right? It says, I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Speaking of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, who the Heavenly Father is going to send, all right, to come deliver the elect. I don't want to have to sign up that precious number. And I do pray for the elders and the brothers that believe and the sisters that believe in this truth and believe on Yahweh Bash and Yahushai. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem those that are, are, are adhering to the word of the Lord, man. Okay, remember, all right, he's the He's the redeemer, man. He's the savior and he's coming to save his people. According to Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. All right, he's the, one of his titles is the word of God. So we have to listen and obey his voice. Okay, the word of God, man. And remember, the word of the Most High is faithful and true. All right, so the world, okay, the earth, all right, the whole earth is moving to the tune of prophecy, man. Okay, so I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you are edified. On to the next one. Shalom.